Hey Tankers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we have Chaser392. He's in the Basante C45. The um, Holiday Ops, one of the Holiday Ops reward tanks, a tier 8 Italian heavy. Um, I'm, like I've said throughout multiple videos, I will be doing a review on the Holiday Ops tanks. Uh, but since I took a little break in playing, I really don't have enough games to give you uh, my, my deep, personal thoughts on them so but look for that to be coming here pretty soon because now i'm going to get back in and, and I'll, I'll play those tanks specifically to, to give you some thoughts but um we've got a few reviews uh, a few videos on on the c45 so uh look for those too but today we have chaser he's on el haluf in a tier pure tier eight oh yes no tier eight tier seven game okay um and uh he spawned down south and he's headed over here to the heavy so chaser take it away over here with another Basante C45. Basante's got great, really good gun depression, sloping armor. I mean, uh, not to give too much away on my review, but the gun just leaves me a little bit, uh, a little bit of wanting there. But because um, he, it's running what the 105? Yes, yeah, so a 105 with a 360 Alpha, 218 penetration. If he fires the heat, he's up to 270, and if he fires the HE, he's got a nice HE around 105 millimeter penetration with a 440 Alpha. So I mean, it's got a, it's not a hashed round, uh, and you know, is it? No, it's not a hashed round. It's just a, a 105 HE. So anyway. Chaser's going to pull up here on the hill, do what the Basante can do well, and that's use its gun depression. Look at the SU-122-44. He is hard charging along with a T-20. It is not the speediest tank in the world. And there's a nice shot into that Basante. And there's a critical and a hit, and he manages to give you a tracking shot. And Chaser's just going to let the team, the, the crew, repair this. And now that Basante's in a very good situation. Look at the look at the gun depression on that thing. I mean, it's it's almost a T95 Chieftain esque, and it's and it's gun depression. It's a good thing it's not a super penetrating gun, I mean, with it, but, <laughs> I mean, that is just. All right, well, it's forcing Chaser to have to play back on the on his heels a little bit. Here comes the GSOR. And Chaser's going to come over here and see if he can't play the depression game a little bit. SU-152, but he's on his last legs, and he's down, actually. There's a BK. And yeah, not going to penetrate the bottom of that thing. Ah, there we go. Now we got a shot into him. And as we can see from my uh, mod penetration marker here, you know, pay attention to that on, on some of the shots that this thing gets. That was a new penetration. Not that the penetration markers in this game are, are, are always accurate about what you're going to do, because you, you know, I don't think the penetration uh, marker takes RNG into factor. <laughs> All right, well, we kind of got two tanks in a little trench here. A guard who really doesn't have any gun depression. A, a T29 that's got some good gun depression, and a Basante that's got some good gun depression, and they've got a little bit of Overwatch with the BK101, 100. Point zero one. Oh, right into the dirt. And there's a shot right in the lower plate. Now he's taking some. He's pushed in a little far. And he's down. GSOR finished him off. Now Chaser's on the reload here. All right, and then if you do manage to fire that third shot, you've got quite a reload to wait on. Puts a shot right into the side of the turret of that Basante, who for some reason didn't know you were here. 
Uh, <laughs> Here comes your other Basante friend. And now we've got a T29, and this hill is just too much. Um, too much of a lift, a lift to use the gun depression. Oh, we got an 88 and a Challenger back in here behind us. Space Cowboy and Bunk Batter. Bunk, Bunk Battler. Nice hit on the Challenger. Yeah, 88's moving in on the TBP BTU. One, two, three, and Chaser takes a hit from the 88. Takes a little bit of ram from the 88. And is on a reload. And, and takes another one from the 88. Uh, I don't know if dancing with him at this point was the right thing to do. Chaser, you got a reload. There's a shell into him. You are bouncing his shot. So Chaser decides to get up face to face with him. Takes another one from him. Now he's bouncing shots off of you. Trying to get into your commander's hatch, but that's not working. Chaser's gonna let the second shell load up. Just take some some bounces. And he's firing gold. That's the problem with the 88, too. I mean, it just sometimes just doesn't have the punch. And he was firing gold at you. Like, damn it, why am I doing this? Why am I not penetrating? Alright, so we got a Vicente down in the lower. Did he go down to the lower end? He did. A GSOR. There's a Scorpion G and a GW Panther still in the game. T44-100 is uh, over there trying to chase down the GSOR. There goes their last heavy, the Basante. And Chaser wisely does not just go cruising up over that hill. Good. Good, smart move. In the Basante, you worked out for your Basante, but generally there's always a TD waiting back there to just pop you right in the head. Alright, Chaser's moving down. Now he's going to cut down low. Here's your Basante, the T44-100. are moving in on where the last known low... Okay, GSOR is down. We got a Scorpion G and a GW Panther. Scorpion G was last seen at Delta Zero. And I don't imagine he's moved too much further from there. 214 hit points left. I think you tangled with that 88. Didn't really need to, but it worked out good for you because he was able to, he was just bouncing his shells off you. E25 is coming into the game. GW Panther is just waiting for the Scorpion to light some up that he can drop a shell on you. Uh, your Basante C45 is pushing in. There he is. There he is. Uh, why he doesn't shoot, I don't know. But he uh, allows you to take the shot. Maybe he didn't spot you. I don't remember. Did the six cents go off? All right. Well, that leaves the GW Panther, who the defender is not lit yet. So I'm assuming is not over there. My guess is he's going to be lit by the T44-100, maybe. Yep, there he is. Which just means you're not going to get any more damage, so... We'll call that a victory. All right, well, you got a first class out of that. Fire for effect, high caliber, 140,996 in credits, 3,843 in experience. You did 3,831 in damage, got two kills for a base XP of 1,220. Nice work. You fired 15 shots. Of those 15, 14 hit, and of those 14, 12 penetrated. You did 199 from 300 meters out. You managed to block 1,190, which in this tank is, that that's good. I mean, it, it's got some trollish armor. It's got the ability to block, but I, I don't think I've received quite that much yet. 
Uh, 585 uh, in spotting. Made some decent credits. Made some really good experience. So, you know, the... The Basante, like I said, not trying to give too much away on my average Joe uh, review of this thing, which you know, hopefully I can have out pretty quickly. But I mean, it's it's a fun tank. I will give you that. The gun leaves me wanting a little bit, but I'm working on that. Um, and it can be and used in the right situation can be a very useful tank. Um, the reload takes a little getting used to. But anyway, that's Chaser three nine two in his Basante C forty five on El Halouf in a standard battle. If you like the video, hit the like button. Keep those videos coming. I greatly appreciate it. Please remember to hit the subscribe button. This is Bonsai Duck out.